Let's do a vloggy thing for old time's sake. Okay, today I'm selling my Waterloo down here. This is my Waterloo WLS. This is a guitar that is, I have said countless times in many different ways that it's my favorite guitar I've ever owned. And I'm selling it today and I'm really sad and bummed about it. And I'll, t I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you some, like some is private, but I'll tell you some about it. But let's hear it before we go. Also, the other just sacrilegious and crazy thing is that I'm, I'm, potentially selling my Huss and Dalton as well. So the guy who's buying the Waterloo wants me to bring my Huss and Dalton just in case. He actually has uh, he has a TDM, but his is an Adirondack top, so he just wants to compare. But let's do a vloggy travel -y thing, and uh, before we do that, so before we hit the road and head down to Lynchburg, let's uh, let's hear this Waterloo one last time. Super light, I mean this thing is probably three pounds. Uh, cherry uh, body. Red spruce top, uh, ebony bridge, rosewood fingerboard, just cool. bought this Waterloo to flip. That is how I take care of my family. But also, nothing went to plan for me in 2020. I left a full-time marketing gig uh, in 2020 with the goal of just growing my YouTube channel by going to every guitar shop I can, buying and selling every guitar, just capturing stories of real people that own guitars and their stories. And then, boy, uh, that didn't get to happen. I ended up I mean, COVID, and uh, like the, I was headed to a guitar show with John Schultz from True Vintage Guitar, and that ended up getting canceled too. So anyway, this guitar has to be sold today because it has to fulfill its original purpose, which is to take care of my family. And I really, really love this guitar, um, but uh, I gotta take care of my family. So I need to be responsible and, uh, you know, Thankfully, through strange, crazy mercy, uh, this guitar is actually, I'm gonna sell it for over twice what I paid for it, which doesn't happen all the time. Happens every now and then. But anyway, here we are, pulling up now. to play like this caliber of instrument a lot, mm -hmm. this thing would punch you in the face. Yeah. We just realized that my TDM and his TDM are made three serial numbers apart. And that means like, well this one was 49, mm -hmm. there was 50 in between, and this is like, I have to look it up. Mine's 48, yours 51. Yeah. So 284, 2851, 2849. Yeah. So, sorry, this is mine, but I'm bumping it. No, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. But, just... yeah. So anyway, both of us own House and Dalton's. Both of yeah. us are connected through Sam. Yeah. So that's crazy. That's who I actually, that's who I bought mine from. Yeah. And uh, cool. Well, um, I got another guitar I want to show you. Yeah. Oh man, that pops. Oh man, pictures don't do it justice. Yes, it's that big red spruce. 
Oh, just Man, it's it's so light. light. Isn't that crazy? It's like three pounds. It doesn't sound like a power size guitar. <laughs> I flat pick, and mm -hmm. so uh, really what I want, I, I want to take the Hudson Dalton home. Yeah. So this will sit on the wall there. Will this sit, hang in a, uh, will it hang in a tuner key? No. Uh, well, well it it's, it's, it's been in the hangar since I've had it for two years. Or... Definitely a little bluesy guitar. Mm -hmm. It's got a K&K Pure Mini. It oh, sounds it's unbelievable. Plugged in. <laughs> My, that one's got the live in it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I just took, I took the microphone and plugged it back so you could I, see it. I saw that. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Dude, this one, each time I play it out, I will have people come up and tell me, like, this is the best sounding acoustic guitar I've ever heard. Really? It's just giant. So it's gonna. I, I don't like singing really loud because it makes my voice like, mm. die. Yeah. And to sing over top that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With any kind of consistency, it's, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for a smaller body guitar to be able to just do that. Yeah. Sing to myself and. Just, I wonder who you play. It. Right here. Dude, that's that's awesome, man. 
Because uh, if, if anything, I'm just an enjoyer of nice things and nice, especially nice yeah. issues. That, dude, that's how I feel about it. That's awesome. This thing is so loud. Mm -hmm. It's so loud. I'll throw it back in the case. Appreciate you coming, coming over, here, over here and doing this. And I hope that I gave you something you can use. Absolutely. Man. Yep. You want sick. me to help you carry something? Yeah, just get the door. Come on, man. I started this YouTube channel in 2017 and I started it, I just borrowed a camera from my friend Keith because he had a camera and I had made some videos in high school but I was going to buy an old Martin, bought an OM28, a Brazilian one in Ocean Springs, Mississippi and the video is pretty bad but uh, I came back a couple months later and it had gained a ton of views, like 7,000 views, that's a lot. And so it kind of hit me that, whoa, I bet there's lots of other people out there that don't know how to buy and sell guitars. And maybe it would be fun to just bring a camera along as I buy and sell guitars because that's what I was doing. I had a full-time gig, but I was also just finding old guitars. So then I bought my own camera. I got more and more into making videos. And uh, I ended up just having this... That guy just passed me on a double yellow. Um... But I, got my, but I got my own camera, started making videos, and I started really wanting to increase the quality of the videos, the quality of the stories I was telling, and the, and the quality of the guitars that I was finding, and then capturing those through video and photos really well. And I slowly kind of moved more and more towards that. And at some point, I think I took my eye off the ball a bit, because I was buying and selling guitars, and that was a fun way to get cool guitars, but for a hobby to pay for itself and to make a little bit of money here and there. And uh, yeah, by the time I left my full-time job, in the meantime, we moved from Louisiana to Virginia. I took a marketing job. I was a, I was in charge of all the marketing for this big company. Um, and I left in February of 2020. And you know, and I know now what none of us knew in February, January of 2020, and that was that COVID was coming and a pandemic was coming. And so I quickly saw, I had just left my job and I had just quickly realized I have to hustle. I got a boogie. And so what I decided to do was to buy and sell guitars as fast as I could. Now we moved a chunk of money from savings into the guitar account into, uh, we moved a chunk of money out of savings and we put it into betting on me buying and selling guitars. And for a long time, we kind of called that, uh, you know, the golden goose. And so we were going to live off of the eggs of the golden goose. And then at some point, we'd move that chunk back over. But what has slowly happened is just, uh, I have ooh, kind of a dark place around uh, in the mountains here. It'll, it'll lighten up here in a second. But I started finding really cool guitars like this Waterloo and what happened was I started just falling head over heels for these guitars and I started hoping and banking that I could make videos that were cool enough that would then kind of snowball and make up for the money that I was leaving in these guitars. But what has happened is those were just like big chomps that came out of the golden goose. Uh, they weren't the eggs. So anyway, fast forward to today it was time for me to move on the Waterloo. And I love that guitar. And today, in this video, you saw, it was so hard for me. It was so sad, but it was also so exciting. Like I had such a mix of like, I'm making a great profit, like I'm doubling my money. And then I also just kept coming back to the fact that I felt like, it, and I say this in the video earlier, which is, it felt like, a couple years ago, it felt like when we had to get rid of our dog in order for us to move back to Virginia. And we had a dog, her name was Ruby. She was my favorite, favorite dog I've ever had. She was this old English bulldog. She was funny and she was sweet. And she was just like ready to go. She was such a faithful friend um, through the years of having babies and just early kind of married life. And it felt the same way with the Waterloo today. Like it felt like that same day I took Ruby to the park to meet the, the new owner. And Ruby took off and was chasing a tennis ball and playing with the dogs and coming back to, to Dale, not to Jeremy. And so today, uh, yeah, today with Tyler and that guitar, it just felt like, oh, it's a good dog. 
and that dog's going home with somebody else. And um, I'm super thankful for that. I mean, this chunk of money is going to immediately go to help my family reach the goals that we've set. And at the end of my life, I will be much happier with the legacy of family than I will be with a, you know, a room full of guitars. And I hope you feel that way too and you are, you are able to prioritize. Like, guitars are a really good gift, but a much better gift is family. Every day I'm gonna miss that guitar. But it is benefiting the things, some of the things I care absolutely most about. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. This is a long one, probably, I don't know. A lot of fun stuff has happened. Found the twin to my house in Dalton. And um, that's really crazy. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed uh, if you want to learn how to buy and sell guitars. I'm still committed to fixing the problem that I found with YouTube five years ago, six years ago, is that there is not enough content teaching people how to actually buy and sell guitars and develop a collection of guitars that represents them. So. If you're interested, please check out Write Guitars Faster in the description of this video. It is, it's a pretty straight line from you doing that to benefiting your life and also helping take care of me and my family. So thank you for everything. It's been a great ride so far. Go and fill the world with music and friendship. I'm, I'm super glad that we're in this together.